My name is Ben Johans, and I'm a sophomore at the University of Wisconsin-Madison. I'm the founder of Watcoin Labs. My name is Jimmy Shaw. I'm a recent grad from Illinois Institute of Technology uh, in the background with electrical engineering. My name is Tyler Barker, and I'm currently a sophomore at the University of Wisconsin-Madison. My name is Farsha Garumrigar, and I'm currently a graduate student at Illinois Institute of Technology. My name is Christopher Jenk. I'm a recent graduate from the University of Pennsylvania. For the last two years, I've had the opportunity to intern at Varium, a distributed energy company with Global Reach. Currently, I'm also a researcher at the Galvin Center under Dr. Mohamed Chayyapur. Studying civil engineering with an environmental emphasis. I'm also a researcher at the Galvin Center under the advice of Dr. Mohamed Chayyapur. I have experience in trading global equities and I'm currently a financial analyst for Varium. This is Watcoin Labs and this is the team that's going to change the way the world transacts energy. During my internship, I recognized the tremendous inefficiencies that occur in transactions that involve energy. The challenge of the unbanked to pay for it, the incentives for the clean, efficient use of it, or the trading of the carbon value. I have applied my experience in Bitcoin, cryptocurrency, and blockchain-based assets to the challenges of energy transactions. We have begun to build a common platform as a service model in Watcoin Labs that we call Watcoin, where energy and its value come together, creating the most efficient solutions for energy transactions. We developed a simple system at our lab at Illinois Institute of Technology using a breadboard, NFC reader, smart plastic card, and smartphone. We were able to demonstrate a simple method of transferring energy credits to turn on LED bulbs. Using the Watcoin app, a user can buy energy credits similar to paying cash for kerosene. After a successful demonstration of our technology, the Watcoin Lab and very own teams built this prototype that was demonstrated at the Energy Revolution Conference in Sierra Leone, Africa in May. The demonstration led to commitments of 9,000 solar home systems using the Watcoin payment platform. In this case, we're using um, Watcoin's lab technology integrated with the solar home system from very own, and we have our simple generator, which is our solar panel right here. We have the battery housing unit, which has the smart payment platform and also the battery management system and that's all powering these three smart LED bulbs. Essentially what we're trying to do is disrupt the $27 billion kerosene industry in India and Africa. Traditionally, from my home state of Gujarat, many villagers have to travel several miles to fill up their cans with kerosene, come back and then light up their home. What we're doing here is using a smart plastic and a smart system for a smart renewable solar home lighting systems. So we're essentially transferring energy credits instead of kerosene. So what we're going to do is imagine I'm a villager and I need to get credits to run my solar home lighting system. So I'm going to go to Ben. He's my Watcoin agent. So now I'm going to show you that the Watcoin card has zero credits on it. The lights are not turning on not turning. essentially because there's zero credits on there. Now I'm going to top up the card with 500 watt credits. And as you can see, there's a new value of 500. And now I'm going to place it on the unit. And it's actually drawing credits from the card as, as it's running. And when you take the card off, the lights turn off. And as I'll show you here, four watt credits have been depleted. I'm gonna load it up with 10 credits. And now I'm gonna put it on the box. And as it's running, it's depleting credits off of the card. And as you'll see very shortly, the card will actually turn off. And also a uh, system is such that if based on different loads, it'll consume different amount of credits. So right now it could be lights, somebody could be charging their phone. And as you can see, the lights have turned off because the card is depleted. Having now demonstrated that energy credits can be transferred in an efficient manner to prepay for electricity, we recognize a number of ways to generate revenue as well as new solutions we can develop on the platform. Our revenue streams include licensing fees and transaction fees as our main revenue sources. Our next opportunity is to develop and scale for utilities in America. Our next solutions under development at Watcoin Labs include the ability to capture and certify the use of clean power. This allows for voluntary trading of kilowatt hours carbon offset as well as the use of Watcoins for U.S. utilities to incentivize consumers to be energy efficient and rewarded for demand response activities. In the words of Thomas Edison, I put my money on the sun and solar energy. What a source of power. I hope we don't have to wait until oil and coal run out before we tackle that. We look forward to the opportunity to work with the Clean Energy Trust and the U.S. Department of Energy in bringing the best of U.S. clean tech innovation to markets with our team at Watcoin Lab.
Alright, everyone bring it in. <laughs> yeah, let's bring Walk it in. Walk one on three. One, two, three. Walk one. <laughs>